What's going on, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and another Daz watches every day, whether we like it or not. Whether we're walking through a train station, we're walking through town, or we're on the internet, or watching Netflix. We're being sold shit. Or at least they try to sell us shit. There's even things now where when you're talking, your phone listens. And then you go on Instagram, say you're talking about nine inch dildos or something, right? Not that I do. I don't. And then you're flicking through it, all of a sudden advert, nine inch dildos for you. Just some guy like, like you know, wobbling one around. <laughs> Point I'm trying to make is, is that adverts are everywhere. And they don't make them like they used to. Today, guys, on Daz Watches, we're going to be watching a compilation of the worst infomercials ever. Remember infomercials? You know, the classics. They were so bad that you actually wanted to own what you were watching. And I'm gonna give them the chance to re-advertise their products today, here on Daz Games. Let's watch the video. Nowhere to run, nowhere to ride. Now wherever there's carpet, blast off with Fun Slides, the amazing carpet skates that glide, slide, or ride. How many children will die after purchasing this? Failing that, what's grandma's house gonna look like after the kids go there with these? My grandma would never, she, oh, she was so protected of our carpet. We got a new carpet for her once, my nan. You weren't allowed to walk on it. From then on, that room, the living room, you weren't allowed to go, you just allowed to look in, poke your head in. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, don't step on the carpet though. You'll disturb the fibers. You had to like Mission Impossible it, like strap yourself to the ceiling and just dangle across it. If I went there, slid across it, she'd rip my ear off. You decide, race with them, play games with them, or just cruise with them. Fun slides bring the good times inside. You don't have to be a pro, just strap them on and go, go, go. See how nuts 90s kids were? Like before we had TikTok or phones or social media, look at the desperate lengths we went to to have fun. We strapped plastic to our feet and to slide across the carpet. <laughs> And then socks on a polished wood floor, fun slides let you slide on carpet. But wait, there's more. Constructed of friction defying super smooth plastic, secured by hook and loop straps, shock free foam, and elastic. Before Crocs, there was these. And I'm sorry, they really do try and sell it to you, don't they? Like, look at these carpet rails. Where on earth, other than in this advert, is there gonna be carpet laced rails for you to grind down? Fun slides let you safely zoom across any size room. Heel to toe, heel to toe. Just push off and away you go. Check the replay. Just push off and away you go. Got so many broken bones from falling over. And I'm sorry, there's no furniture in this test site. There's no tables. Corner units, sofas, t televisions that are worth more than 59 of these put together. Fun slide across the house and then fun slide right back. No matter what you're- My room growing up, I, I had, Jesus, I didn't even have floor when I think about it. I could open my door and we had to change the way the door opened. I had to open outwards because it couldn't open inwards. There was no room. It was a box. I lived like Harry Potter, I swear. And you'd open the door and you close it and there'd be about that much room to stand and then you'd get onto your bed. And I had a TV on a unit and a chest of drawers. And that was it. That's all you could fit in it. My sister. Who? Who? She had a manor house as a bedroom. I asked my mum if I could move under the sink because it was bigger. <laughs> like, oh, man, I had it tough. Your size, anyone can fun, fun, fun slide. Brothers, sisters, moms oh, or misters. Yeah. Even your dog will want to fun slide. Back in the day when we... Just didn't give a shit. We are advising people to strap these to their pets and hurl them across the living room. No one gave a shit back then! Maybe not. Down the hall, around tables and chairs, fun slide all over, but walk down the stairs. Oh yeah, walk down the stairs, strap them to your dog and your nan, and push them down the fuck- but- Make sure you walk down the stairs, kids. Skip, Mr. Microphone. Hey, what's that? Well, you set the dial on your FM radio and testing, testing. testing. Hey. I'm on the radio. Oh, These kids are having a fabulous time with Mr. Microphone. No, they're not. Look at her in the background. She's like, shit. Shit. Why am I here? So it's a karaoke mic. Wow. Back then, we really weren't in innovative, were we? Radio. There are no attaching wires, so you're free to move around. <laughs> well, Bill Cosby's having a good time. 
Me walking down the street thinking I don't look weird when I'm on hands free. There are no attaching wires, so you're free to move around. <laughs> Can't do it. Even after all these years, like I have to have a wire and hold it or I have to obviously be on the phone. I, I've said it before, I can't just walk down the street talking in my head. I, I still can't. Broadcast over any FM car radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. Yep, can't do that now. Can you? That's weird. Imagine driving past. Imagine on the way to school and you see this. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. You fucking won't. <laughs> Podcast in mono, or with two stereo. Yeah. Didn't, didn't get a word of that, I'm afraid. I had no idea what he just said. Professional entertainers use Mr. Microphone for rehearsing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to call it Mr. Microphone, now, would you? Like, you wouldn't get away with that. You, you technically, you would be, you would be assuming that microphone's gen- <laughs> Hold on. Be assuming that microphone's gender. It's I I hey, I don't make up the rules, okay? This is this is what would happen. Everyone on Twitter, I can hear it now. They'd be saying, "Oh, why is it Mr. Microphone? Why is it not he, she, Mike? Why is it not? Do you know what I mean? That would be a genuine argument we'd have today. And you can too. It was that singing. Was that singing? And you can too. <laughs> what they say? What song is that? What song is that? <laughs> Does the shoulder strap in your car cut into your shoulder? Yeah. When you travel, is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? Yeah. Introducing the Titty Bear. Shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Made by a man. That's T-I-D-D-Y bear. The cute little guy that eliminates all those irritating shoulder strap problems. I quit YouTube and I want to become a full-time titty bear. I quit. That's my future right there. That's gonna be me. <laughs> Fuck. Who made this? Designed to make driving more comfortable, the titty bear snaps onto your shoulder strap and moves up and down to eliminate uncomfortable pressure wherever you need it. And it absolutely must be placed on your boob. Can't go anywhere else. Shoulder bear? No. No. Tiddy bear. With a patent pending swivel design, you can easily adjust. Patent pending? It's not even approved? And it's meant to strap to a safety device that stops you going through a windshield. And it's pending. Place it here, or here, or anywhere you need. So two, two places then, because... That's, that's it. <laughs> or anywhere. You can't put it on your head, can you? Like, it's, it's either there or there. So, you can't put it anywhere. Over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Really? 100 years? We weren't using our hand 100 years ago? Finally, there's a better way. What is that? Did you stick that up your ass? That looks too, that looks too much like a certain type of toy. Oh my god. Comfort wipe. The sanitary paper. Comfort? That thing is comfort. For extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper. No. No. <laughs> no. No, you can't use it to scrub your back. You can't wipe your ass with it and then wash with it. Or brush. Just pop on the toilet tissue and when through, just press the release button and the t- <laughs> No. There's no accuracy. It's so long as well. You'd have to uh, Literally <laughs> What if you miss it's just gonna go all over the stick. Oh Tissue drops right into the toilet. Think about it. Toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting Yeah, it's so archaic That we shouldn't use it anymore unless you attach it to a stick <laughs> You're still using it being a big guy certainly has its advantages no, it doesn't, mate. Coming from another big guy, it does not have its advantages. When I lost weight, I started seeing advantages. Like, I could tie my shoes without getting out of breath. I can see my penis again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a joke! And it's disadvantages. This is a great product. 
It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. I agree. So don't. Don't have someone help you wipe your up. What is she saying? The comfort wipe allows you to maintain your dignity. You're not that old that you need someone to wipe your ass and... Why is she getting help for it when she doesn't need it? While you maintain your personal hygiene. Comfort wipe. The sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. The 1880s. Even in the 1880s, they're like, no, I'll use my hand. It's fine. It cleans. So if you or someone you love suffers from the loss of range of motion. Yeah, the... <laughs> The amount of times I've gone to wipe my ass, I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, my shoulder hurts from all this wiping. <laughs> why, why in infomercials do they make out that we can't cope? I saw one the other day uh, on here. It was um this guy like putting, uh, opening up a barbecue and all these sausages rolled off. And they're like, have you had enough of cooking sausages on your barbecue? And they try and escape. If you, if you can't put sausages on a grill, you don't, you shouldn't be alive. You should just shoot yourself. Plus, we'll send you the get a grip. Just pay separate chip. What is that for? What are you gripping with that? It's the assist handle that installs in seconds. Getting in and out of the tub has never been more com- Bath tubs come with that, don't they? Man, that's such a- Oh, look at that. That, you only want that when you're 90 and you need it. That is ugly. That is ugly. You get it all. The comfort wipe and the get a grip. The entire $50 value. Completely unrelated. Something designed to wipe your asshole and something to help you get out of the bath. Completely, completely two different situations. Why are they being sold together? Want to stay covered after being wet, but your towel just won't let. Robes. Yeah, I I know that feeling. I can now get the towel around me though. That's good. Hot. And towels with fasteners? I think not. Now there's the wearable towel. All right, I'm actually, I'm all for this. The towel with arm openings. The wearable towel keeps you totally covered and gives you the freedom to use your hands. All right, hold on. Hold on to something. Oh my God, they do so many. Wait, look at this one. Oh my, they do it. Look, it's here. Apparently this is also, it's also for men. I'm, bu I'm buying it, I'm buying it. All right guys, Um, here we go again. Next Instagram post on my Instagram is gonna be me displaying the wearable towel. <laughs> I did the model one, you saw it, it's on there. I'm, I'm gonna get a wearable towel and that will that will be my next Instagram model post. Hey, Kathy Mitchell here with my new Dump Dinner cookbook. Now just- Dump Dinner? That's not very appetizing, is it, for a cookbook? Yeah, buy my dump. Dump and bake for full meals in minutes. Oh my god. Look at that. That food looks disgusting. It's congealed. It's like you cooked your grandkids. Oh, delicious. Look at these smug- Oh, shit! Look at the water in that! Oh, that poor pig died for that shit. Oh god, I can I can smell it. How much water? How, how runny is that? What even is it? Other pork chops, easy cheesy tacos. Oh my god, the beef is raw! Look! It's not cooked! Who is this woman? Roasted chicken with potatoes? Roasted in what? Under a bedside lamp? Or this, the best pan pizza ever. Cut up some biscuits in a skillet. Dump on tomato sauce, your fit. Oh my god, this is straight up nan food. You you don't need taste buds for this food, I guarantee it. Favorite toppings and cover with cheese. Then bake for a delicious pizza stuffed with all the goodies. Yum. Here's my favorite comfort food dinner. Comfort? Chicken pot pie casserole. That's a casserole. Not with chicken and mixed veggies. Add a That frozen? Oh shit. Oh. Boah! Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Look at that. That looks like cat sick. Just grab your cat when he's feeling ill and rip. <laughs> oh, no! Can of creamy chicken soup, a few chunks of Velveeta cheese, and top with a can of crescent rolls. And a side order of death. Just look at this. A oh, shit. That, it looks so unappetizing. It looks disgust. And no wonder, because she's using everything frozen and everything out of a fucking can. 
Oh, God. Cheesy chicken pot pie with perfect flaky crust. How about a new- That's chicken. That's chi- Look at it. Look at this here. Look, it's raw. What the fuck? This is on telly! How about a new twist on meat? Oh, shit! It's like someone rolled dog shit in Play-Doh. Ugh. Oh. I, I, ge I genuinely feel ill. I feel si I actually feel- I nearly gagged then. All joking aside, those mashed potatoes or glue. Look at that. And the and the broccoli, look at it sat there. Fuck, bland as shit. Baking top with mashed potatoes. A perfect portion is Fuck! The way that they stick their bonded. Like the way that they just you couldn't pull them apart with your teeth. Oh god. That is vile food. Vile! Each muffin. You'll love it. Get great shortcuts too. Like this beefy pot. <laughs> like not knowing how to cook. That's a great shortcut. Pasta. No need to pre brown meat or boil pasta. Dump it all in the pot. Dinner is served in 15 minutes. Bollocks. Bollocks. Or try this shortcut ravioli lasagna. Dump frozen raviolis on tomato sauce. Add fresh spinach and cheese. Layer is hot. Do you hate people? Do you want to see them die? Th this is a woman who does not want to see people enjoy food. D you can't. It winds me up. I bet she doesn't get invited to the family dinner. Pie as you like for steaming. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that sauce. It's literally like she headbutted a tomato and just threw it on a fucking plate. Melty home style lasagna. After work, I never want to spend time making dinner. Because you're dead! None of that was cooked. None of it. Now, I just dump everything in and bake to make the ultimate. Exactly. The book is called Dump. <laughs> now, I don't have to actually cook. I just dump it in. Says it all, doesn't it? And it looks like that. Oh, shit. I, I'm sorry, I'm a foodie. When I cook, I cook. I'll do a cooking video. I wanted to prove it to you all. I'll cook for you. I, I am a chef. At heart. This angers me. Mac and cheese. Stop slaving over dinner. Make delicious meals in a flash with- Yeah, stop doing it properly and putting effort in. Just dump. And look what you could get. Look at look at that shit. Look at that. Look at look at whatever that is. Look at that doughy ass, white ass. Dump and bake for this scrumptious rasin peach dump cake. Or use canned biscuits to Oh my What the f What's she making? Make fresh, warm, sticky buns just like Grandma used to make. Oh, as Grandma used to make, yet yeah, in her colon. Oh, gods. Look at that. If you put that in front of me, I'd say flush it. Flush it down the toilet, you dirty bastards. You can get dump dinners and dump cakes. For it looks like dump. For $10 with over 250 delicious homemade recipes. Here's how to order. I've never in my life, never seen anything like it. She should not. She shouldn't be in a kitchen or a house. She shouldn't. Oh, shit. There's no joy in your cooking. All right? There's only sadness. Unbelievable recipes everyone will love. This entire basket cost under $10. Then. Check these out. Ramen shrimp. Ramen top. So, there's no shrimp. It's just, it's just deep fried ramen, then. You can't call something shrimp if there's no shrimp in it. That's like saying, oh, I caught a shark and it's a goldfish. But it's not the same. Other meat with a ramen seasoning pack. Dump in a package of ramen, a good sized square of ketchup. Fuck me, this woman hates food. She hates it. And a can of cola. And a what, when, who a fucking? Did she just put ramen, ketchup, beef, and a pint of Pepsi? Yes, cola for a fancy. Yes, we saw. Fantastic barbecue beef pasta, better than what they serve at the rib joint at a fraction of the cost. Oh god, that literally looks like what my dog threw up on the sofa. You know when a dog throws up and it's just you know dry, and it, it just it comes out as one solid lump. That's what that looks like there. That is meant to be garlic bread as well. I'll have you know. My favorite. Just dump some ramen on top of some leftover chicken and veggies. Add a can of soup, stir and bake. Oh fuck, stop pouring chicken soup on everything. Canned chicken soup. <sighs> this woman needs to be put to sleep. All right guys, uh, that was a, uh, they don't make them like they used to, do they? Like now they're all like five second ads and you know, plastered everywhere. It's a different world. It's a totally different world. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, love, crest my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay dazzling. <laughs>